Okay, so back to these other types of decomposition. Remember these other three, chlorate, carbonate, and hydroxide decompositions, they're all decomposition they'll still all say is heated. Um, but all three of these don't break down into their pure elements per se, but they are really predictable. So actually, all of the, this text that's already here on your on this note-taking guide, you can go ahead and check the cheat sheet that I referenced uh, last class. I think it was last class. Um, all of those, all of this text here is written exactly like that on the cheat sheet. Um, you need to know how to interpret it though. So a chlorate decomposition always starts with a metal chlorate, meaning some metal, any metal bonded to chlorate. Chlorate is a polyatomic ion that you should know. It's ClO3 and it has a negative one charge. So anything chlorate, lithium chlorate, aluminum chlorate, magnesium chlorate, metal chlorate is heated because we're still talking about a decomposition. Anytime you have a metal chlorate being heated, we end up with a metal chloride. So if it was lithium chlorate, we'd end up with lithium chloride and oxygen, oxygen gas. So for example, actually let me do something generic first. So generic, we would have something bonded to ClO3. Then we end up with that something, that metal, bonded to chloride. So the I tells us we're just talking plain old chlorine. Plus oxygen, which is a diatomic. Okay, an example for you that's not generic would be if I said sodium chlorate is heated. So I first need to look at the fact that sodium is a plus one, chlorate is a minus one, and I crisscross. So sodium chlorate NaClO3. It's a chlorate, so it's heat, and it, so it's a chlorate decomposition. That tells me I'm gonna get a metal chloride. Now, the metal here is sodium. It's to the left of the staircase on your periodic table. It's also the part of the chlorate, the part of the chlorate that isn't actually ClO3. Um, so I would get Na with Cl. I need to check their charges. Na is a plus one. This is just me showing my work. Cl is a minus one. I crisscross and get NaCl plus oxygen, O2. And it's always O2, it's never O3. We'll deal with all the, where the oxygens went in balancing. But oxygen by itself is an atomic O2. Um, then I balance actually Na, Na, Cl, Cl are good. O3 and O2. Again, in front of the diatomic, you could use a fraction if you wanted. More likely, most of you will be comfortable getting them both to six. So a two there and a three there gets our oxygens both to six. Dominoing that two through, that gives me two sodiums and two chlorines or a two there, would do that also, okay? Same thing with carbonate and hydroxide, where we start with a metal bonded to carbonate, which is CO3 minus two, or a metal bonded to hydroxide, hydroxide is OH minus one. So it's something carbonate is heated, or something hydroxide is heated, and it tells you here what we get. So a metal carbonate, goes to a metal oxide. You'll have to check the charges and crisscross both for the metal carbonate and the metal oxide, plus carbon dioxide. We know carbon dioxide is CO2. For the hydroxide, we'll have some metal hydroxide, goes to a metal oxide, check the charges and crisscross for your metal hydroxide, check the charges and crisscross for your metal oxide, plus water. Um, HOH here doesn't help me, it's not a displacement reaction. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you exact examples of those. Um, I want you to practice interpreting the words here that you'd be given on an in-person test or quiz. Go try.